Hello everyone. He who is here and he who is not here but will come later. It is about time to enter the Siege of Winterfell, which is both terrifying and exciting at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I'm still waiting for Fringlish, uh, but that's, well, it probably hops in later. Hello, lady. how are you doing? Did you wrestle your way free from Gotham? <laughs> so let's see what we have. Let's first do things I might, well, I don't want to forget. Make sure we have all our stats ready. As you can see, I have everything set to infantry spear. Changed a little, made, made some changes in my gear, actually. So I have a high spearman attack now and more. And that is already set, so that's perfect. <laughs> Chris, you're not gonna be, no, bad. You're not my lord. I used Chris as lord for a little test earlier. What we're gonna do is we put Seg as our lord. Now I don't know. I don't. I don't think a lot of the stats like Ferber sets they don't apply. Regardless, I'm gonna activate them because it's you know <laughs> I have only like three hundred thousand of them, and I'm not sure if that also counts for army size, but we'll see in a moment. So I'm just gonna pop a fifty percent. Just to be sure, and if we're wrong, then well, then at least we did it, right? And probably cast above also will not apply, but we'll set one rem uh, regardless. <laughs> Cavalry. <laughs> Ooh. Didn't we have a beautiful one with a lot of spearmen attack? I don't think it really matters. Maybe I should go for something with overall stuff. Well, ah, let's do it. And everything is set. What do we have? Infantry attack, that's interesting. Let's do it. Whoa. Everything's popping up like that. So that's gonna be a really interesting route. All right. So that is done. Now I'm gonna prep further. I think I've already said pretty much everything. I can't put a dungeon buff or a whatever so but i don't think it really applies much and it's a testing season anyway so let's just enter right shall we just enter are you are we ready for this are we i'm excited are you excited i'm excited i can just send all my art troops just like alliance conquest so i'm gonna do as much i dipped train a lot of royal payment just for kvk i expect to lose a few so i made a lot of a bit too many troops for an empty cost like 3.5 million uh, I will be sacrificing a few for the, the event. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but um, I basically just want royals and other than that, mainly. I think I'm going to even do a little bit less cavalry. Problem is, I will most likely have the uh, need of my cavalry commander, so I'm going to throw in some extra cavalry. Let's just enter the battle. Let's just give me, me, me enough time to prepare for this, because that's the most important thing you can even imagine. Okay, we are getting a little tutorial. Click to set up troops. That makes sense. Hold the shift key to select multiple troops at the same time. You may also use the number keys 1, 2 and 3 to perform actions on a single troop. Okay, that makes sense. Occupy in the neutral positions on the battlefield to obtain points. So you have to be in a circle. I did see the white spirit video. Thank you very much for sharing. I also shared your video in the chat for the Nightwalkers. And you have to be basically in the circle to start pushing it. It's it's just like the, the World of Warcraft events. You just have to be in the zone, in the, the, the circle around the castle, and then you start occupying it, and the slider will go slightly more to your side, depending on how many troops. Whoa, <laughs> see. It's a long time since I saw that. So here's my castle, and I see more have joined already. Bren the Broken walking, and many more. So I can't zoom out. That's already the first thing that's really scaring me, actually. Oh, I hear here Fringlish has arrived, so I will actually be pushing push the talk uh, to my voice activity. Hello, Fringlish. How are you doing? Hello, Reaper. I'm doing well. I know absolutely nothing about the event, so because I've avoided all the spoilers, so I'm going to be asking all the stupid questions. I just joined. I don't think any of my buffs will apply, except maybe army size, and but I'm going to check that shortly. I just joined. I just clicked through the three. A tutorial plates which basically said you have to be in the zone around a castle to obtain it just like any event and the more blue 
are in the zone, the faster the slider goes to the blue side uh, until it passes the middle and the same with the red troops, the enemies. Well, it sort of makes sense because each commander is their own. Like uh, your actual commander equipment, badges, things like that don't uh, don't transfer over to this game. That's true. So I'm kind of curious. I will check. That to see, um, did you open the stream? Uh, I'm yeah. I've got the chat up at least. Okay then. Um, I'm now looking at one of the castles. You see the circle, so you have to be in that circle. First things first. Those two castles will open at, in 20 minutes, so that's they're gonna open first, and you will capture of course these, and the enemy will capture the ones on their side, and then you will slowly start moving. In five minutes later, the two inner castles will open up, which are actually the castles around Winterfell. Another three minutes later, boat. You can't click on it now, but it's basically the Temple of the Mother, which gives healing speed, and the uh, Tower of the Warrior, which gives a bonus attack and defense, will open up as well. So you also want to have troops defend there. Now, what I do think is in the first two castles, you only stay there, actually, to occupy them, and then you move pretty much all three armies to the inner ring, and you will pretty much leave at least one army at one of the inner rings to make sure... Which sounds... You yeah. Yeah, you have to but it sounds interesting because what you could do with a couple of members, like you could sneak around the back and try and take those castles just to pull troops away from the middle. Because like you get a couple of your weaker players just to send troops around. If nobody's there, you can force them to run back, meaning their middle's a lot weaker. True. And they really helped you with that because you can zoom out of or in. Um, so you're probably ca very capable of sneaking if nobody really scrolls around. To them. The map's not that big, but big enough to have sneak potential. Let's there's see. some there's some blind spots, definitely. Um, like maybe on the far left, or if you sneak through early on and hide in the corner, I can definitely see something happening. Okay, the first people are actually deploying the troops already. So let's make the first team. I'm gonna... Um, okay, wait. I have all my commanders here. Yeah, <laughs> Jon Snow. Um, I a good thing I have Jon Snow at grey, but I don't think his skills will be that strong. Now, his buffs are a little bit lower when he is grey indeed, but I don't think his attacks will be lower. That's interesting. So he, as a commander, he's still very strong, but his total stats are much lower, so his army will be weaker. Okay, let's start with my golden commanders, at least. And I do think that Chris will be leading as you can see my my stats my army has zero stats my army really has no stats so it doesn't take any of the stats i usually had it just brings the infantry attack and health that chris gives um also the army size bonus doesn't apply so what i kind of want to do i could make a strong infantry attack uh infantry troop because i do have sack what if i make sack my commander and he will cost Target, reduce target's defense and health by 150. Also inflict weakened and fearful. It's kind of... Because you always have to remember... His skill will be the first if he's commander. So his skill will be cast almost directly on the enemy. And then the next commander will be cast like 7 seconds later. So look at this. Andrea is absolutely massive. Um, I think I'll keep her. Wait, why is there a cost behind her? You have to hire her for black dance. That's ridiculous. I don't like that at all. Well, you get a certain amount of commanders from uh, your own lineup, but you can hire ones that you don't necessarily have unlocked, either for blue diamonds or black diamonds. The ones you own will be on the left, and the ones you can hire just for an extra bonus can be on the right. So it means you can have, for example, two Chris's out there. Okay, yes. Maybe. I know I have Andrea at purple, and I can hire her for 10 black diamonds as get gold. Um, I have Sansa at gold, but I can hire... So, that's really weird. Sansa, Sworn, and Russell are normally gold for me, but they don't show gold. Okay, let's just go with um, Haley. She will increase the attack. Deal skill damage to the damage. We will do flat damage. I probably will do our last. And, ooh, a lot of Bowman commanders. I didn't bring Bowman. Um, let's... And yeah, what I've done is I double-checked here. You can actually have two Chris's, for example, if you hire the spares. So that is a possibility. Yeah, it makes sense to make full stacks, right? Only infantry, because then the infantry will be so stacked with damage. 
Um, if I do Sack plus Feist plus Haley, I will have 300 infantry attack, 150 infantry defense. Uh, pretty low actually on defense right now. I'd rather remove Haley and put Chris in there. But, okay. So it doesn't even matter. Well, it kind of does matter which troops I brought. I don't think I can bring... I, I didn't bring Bowman. Well, just a few, maybe. Okay, I'm going to set this as first uh, first group. Oh, now I can just give them troops later. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, I have to say I'm getting serious RTS um, vibes from this. What's an RTS? Well, like um, StarCraft or Command & Conquer or okay. stuff along those lines with the command groups. I, I keep expecting there somewhere to be a shop where you can get your heroes better items. <laughs> Maybe, like maybe. you get some gold and get a b boots so you can move 15% quicker and okay i just didn't really look right now oh my god 450% spearman attack okay i'm gonna make this a full spearman team and yeah th that's basically the same formation i've gone for there that is definitely a damage dealer okay um yeah i'm gonna keep them maybe resist defense Okay, I'm doing Gorel first. Just give me one second. I'm gonna mute my mic for one second because someone was on my doorbell. Keep talking. <laughs> keep talking, I can keep talking. Um, so, well, I'm not sure what Reaper's going to do, but it seems like most of these commanders, you can... It might be advantageous to go for a single one uh, with the spear formation uh, that Reaper was looking at there. Um, again, you've got Gorel, Varys, and Arslan. Now, those commanders are all completely free. So you could get those to gold. That's 450 extra spearman attack, which means it could be a formation most people runs for. The hiring commanders is annoying, but it's, not the, it's the commanders you don't have. So if you want, for example, you can get an extra Chris or so or something along those lines. Yeah, the crazy thing is I have Sansa and Soren and Russell at gold. Yeah. Uh, uh, at least Soren and Sansa. So having to hire them is very weird to me. Oh, Maranda, yeah. It is a bit strange. It seems a bit random. Um, well, maybe they haven't unlocked the rest of them yet or something along, along those lines. But what it does mean is if you've come in with a really heavy infantry army, well, you can always just uh, only run infantry. Like, you could have three infantry armies without worrying about having crap commanders. Or well, two shit commanders. Yeah, that's okay. That's right. I see now I can use Andrea and Miranda. They will have full army power, but they will have reduced stats. And I can hire... It's, it's really weird that I would hire double ones. I don't even want to do that. Um, the problem is I could bring cavalry. It uh, doesn't really matter. So let's make one more cavalry team then. This is defense. Um, of course, Meryl Peak has incredibly much potential. Increase the attack of your cavalry by another 150% for 4 seconds after casting a skill so that it can give you a massive boost, especially at the start of the battle, weakening the enemy. So let's bring him. I see a Rob Stark who just gives defense. Doesn't make them really strong. Okay, I'll bring Russell as well. I'll just go with a full cavalry, a full infantry, and a full spearman. So I at least know which enemy to tackle. Because if I see a spearman uh, and I'll have my infantry close, I know exactly who to attack. Yeah, I've just gone for a simple spearman, cavalry, infantry, one of each. Um, I'll probably keep them together, at least at the start. And if I get attacked by a disadvantaged matchup, I should be able to pull in support from sort of the counter, as it were. Yeah. Okay, I got my armies ready. Battle begins in 11 minutes. I will be moving. I think it's it's good. It's it's easy. Everyone who plays StarCraft or whatsoever will know exactly what to do here. You have three armies. It's it's not going to be very demanding. Uh, unlike the thousand different types of counters, you just need to make sure you have your armies. I think it's going to be very chaotic with the amount of players that can join. Mm. That is true. So if I go press 1, I will instantly select my first army, second army, third army. Third army will be the cavalry, second one. But I can also hold shift and make a multiple selection easily. Yeah, I'm I'm wondering how, uh, how easy it's going to be to figure out what's going on. Because, well, everybody in the alliance can join, can't they? 
So you're talking 100 versus 100. So 600 armies about on the map. Yeah. It's going to be quite difficult to figure out what's going on. In, in White Spirit's video, I did not see any lag. So I don't expect as much lag, which would be really amazing, actually. Um, I mean, <laughs> I'm just looking at the uh, the opponents. Uh, we're the Greyjoys right now, but I'm looking at the opponent's armies where they're massing, and all that I can see is just a solid block of red. I, I can't make out any sort of armies or specific formations, just red completely. Okay, I kind of do see formations of the enemy for myself. You can definitely see what troop type they use. Well, if you double click on them, or if you click on them, no, but uh, they have about 50 armies in the same location. So I can't see anything. Yeah. And definitely so your, in of each other. your army size will also uh, apply. Yeah, it seems like army size is going to be the biggest difference in this, as commanders can be, you know, got with diamonds, You, everybody has gold 60, so it seems like army size is going to be probably one of the most important um, factors mm -hmm. in this uh, matchup. Definitely, definitely. Okay, I'm thinking about moving actually two troops. Um, I'm pretty much stationed in the middle, having my cavalry here. I'll, yeah, no, I don't agree with this. Cavalry, you can join my infantry. Because they counter each other. And the spearmen, I will move to the other side. And I'll probably do the most with my spearmen, even though it doesn't really matter at this point. So even if you have your enough bowmen, and if you're not a zero castle, uh, you might... If you, if you lack commanders for something else, you might even try to get a uh, full army size of bowmen or at least a mixed version however well you'll have some useless troops even though Hello. hey it's yeah um well there's there's plenty of free to play commanders actually so you know which commanders to get to actually get well, the full formation as i said the the ones i've got i've or i've got a um a gold uh, Chris, Haley, and Faes matchup. Yeah. Gold Aslan, Varys, and Gorel. And then gold Genie, Rob, and Russell. Oh, I got Meryl. I... You don't have yeah. a gold Meryl pick? Uh, no, his is still purple for me. Okay. But it does mean that I have a three gold infantry, spear, and cavalry. So I'm not missing out on an awful lot. The only bit where I'm going to be a bit weaker than other players is going to be army size. Um, I didn't put any bonuses, so I'm only at 350,000. Um, but if I saved up, say, I think it's once a season, uh, during, King or during Kingdom vs. Kingdom, there's a 75% army size boost scroll that you can buy cheaply. If I save up those, I could come in with 550,000, which will put me on par with some sort of mini whales. That's not too bad. Indeed. But I do see that um, Arslan, Meryl Peak... And I think almost Vice are the damage dealers for those respective. Um, and th they actually give a massive boost to your army. Um, as they normally would do against rebel leaders. And I kind of want like Meryl Peak. He just does um, cast instantly his attack skill. So we get an extra boost in attack, so we kill as much as possible enemies. I don't know specifically if enemies are weakened if the armor size is smaller. It should be, but... I'm not sure. Um, I mean, I really like the genie's ability. The target has a 75% chance to fall into fear of war, making them unable to use normal attacks or counter. That's definitely a paralyzed thing. And I've combined that with sort of Rob and Russell. Uh, Rob just deals straight damage, reducing total attack, defense, and health. And um, Rob uh, has a chance to uh, dispel, becoming immune and removing all buffs. So it's definitely a capture and control with my cavalry. But, oh, wait, consequences is in chat. We have consequences, Reaper. <laughs> oh, God. I'm uh, recalling my um, cavalry for a minute. And I... Oh, no, I'm recalling my spearmen. That makes so much more sense. Yeah. Well, as I said, I've gone for a sort of a capture, dispel, and weaken with the cavalry. 
Um, and then my uh, spearman formation is just uh, reduce the damage, deal more damage, and deal more damage. Just with Arslan uh, versus Gorel. So what I'm going to be trying to do, ideally, is find other cavalry um, heroes and pin them with my cavalry troops, uh, dispel them, weaken them, trap them, and then attack them with my spearman formation. Using the infantry, I suppose, just to scout. I may send my infantry all the way back around to the corner just to troll. I am... Uh, I'm, uh, just, I have a march of an army size of 484. I, I think I, the fifty percent scroll didn't do anything. Did it not add? No. I was just thinking four hundred eighty-four. That would be my size with the fifty percent scroll, but you have a higher base. One thing I don't like is when you're in this game mode, um, it sort of locks your mouse to the screen. And I'm not sure oh, how yeah. you disable that one in the settings. So I'm, I've got the chat though up on a separate part, so I can still see all you guys. So if you have any questions about this, or or tea, or there's a button, there's a button on, the... on the right for that. Thank you very much. Ah, thank you very much, Belis, um, Belisaurus, yes, Belisarius. I can't believe I never noticed your name sounded so Latin before. Belisarius, the bringer of war. Why doesn't it work for me? Uh, did you click on it? I clicked on the button. I can't hover the in the screen. Uh, well, I'm no longer trapped. We've got four minutes until we start. <laughs> Talbe is coming for you. Are you against Talbe? Yeah, German Jokers. I must say German Jokers and Nightwalks were always my favorite opponents to fight with when I was in uh, Entrio. So that's really interesting. I tell you what you need to do then, you need to basically have a duel, um, like go really early to the mother or something and just fight against each other. Oh, I can't scroll this one. Oh, I'll live. Toby, you have no power here. Too much? <laughs> I have my coffee, so I have pretty much enough power. Okay, I'm already moving my troops a little bit... Uh, ex directly south of the objectives. Oh, I have to remember to uh, press shift all the time because that will help me a lot getting there faster, of course. Why did I select all my troops here? Cornelia, nice to see you back. So we've got two and a half minutes, everybody's sort of gathering in the same locations, ready to make a quick beeline to the first castles to see what happens there. So something very important to notice, cavalry is a lot faster. So that is absolutely um, ideal that if you have a full cavalry troop, you know you have an attack, you have a, a, a troop type to actually get somewhere real fast. Of course, that also means directly that spearmen are the best defense troop for vital objectives. Because they will be True, trying to snipe you with uh, the cavalry, yes. Spearmen could also be a good attacking force because cavalry will get there first um, and be in trouble if they try and run. They're a good response force. Well, that does mean you could run two, conceivably, you could run two cavalry formations as you can hire extra commanders, including duplicates of the ones you already have. It's possible that you could run two complete gold cavalry formations. That is true as well. Oh, spearmen have more range, so it can be a good backline damage ranger. That's true. I, I did notice that spearmen had a remarkable range also in, in Weirwood, etc. It, they changed it or maybe increased it a little bit, I'm not sure, but it just drew, drew my attention much more than usual in uh, some of the videos I made for the commander videos. Some of the wayward fights had it. Now I'm wondering if it's um, if it's a 
complete change or if bowman heroes could actually be interesting because of the range indicator you saw it's possible that with enough bow heroes like you could just target down armies and sort of run and shoot run and shoot strafe them if you have enough control yeah it would be really... it's very it's, it's becoming a very different game like <laughs> what is all this immediate reaction stuff also indeed if you have a defense force and you'll make sure they cover a few armies full full of rangers you are always sure to have the upper hand even against strong wheels because you will just rain arrows upon them and you, they can't get to you but you need to have at least decent team set up uh, for this so you have like an in, someone with infantry someone with spearmen behind someone with bowmen behind that and well you best want like two infantry two uh, horsemen just take the front and a line of spearmen behind that they can hit uh, the, the front line as well because of their range and behind that bowman and you'll just like okay this is easy and here we go and they're off of course there's always the um the question about well do you position everything properly do you spend your time or do you just clump everything together because it doesn't really need to be much difference does there my horse is already there and they take an objective quite fast where because we have a lot of people here of course but um, my infantry has also arrived. Okay, I'm pulling my um, infantry, already moving them on to the next objective, which isn't open yet. But I like to be there anyway, because they're slow. And my horses... Yeah. Okay, they can go there as well. I don't think I'm going to directly have a defense force behind, because it's not really necessary. My spearman has still struggled to get to the first objective. It's almost like they're the slowest of all. That's another reason to keep them a lot behind. So I see several people already going for the objectives. I could quickly check uh, the lines. They're probably missing me. Now, while the map isn't that big, the travel times are still substantial. Insofar as it takes about a minute to get from building to building. So if you manage to snipe something, that can be quite a swing. Especially with how quickly we saw the buildings can fall. That is true. Okay, my infantry is remarkably fast in comparison. My spearman is really low. My, uh, my infantry and cavalry are really marching fast to the objective. Well, my spearman is literally halfway only. So that's really something to focus on. They're really slow. I can't believe that. They only have a spear. Oh, I can hold to sh shift and then select the portraits. That works as well. Rather than the troops. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to attack as well with my infantry. Uh, moving to the Tower of the Warrior already. It's a bit early. So far, no so well, so far no combat, but it's going to come pretty soon. Definitely. Okay, my spearmen are here. I'll keep a dual defense force. Um, in the two outer tur You are there. Pretty much the outer ones, I think. How is it called? Why don't you give it a name? Outpost, just outpost, okay. So uh, I'm not going to stay in the Greyjoy outpost, but I'll keep an eye on them. I'll move one army to the armory, and I'll keep both other armies for now in the inner outposts. I think that's a good choice. And I actually moved my infantry to the um, armory. I do like the fact that you are able to see your... Um troops on the minimap it does make it a bit easier and it, you're definitely gonna have to tri um, go over to the minimap uh, a lot more than holy fuck we're outnumbered oh we're having the first skirmish yeah almost yep come on guys somebody attacked already the tower of warrior my troops are still on their way so this is gonna be the first fight here the guy has no chance because this oh my god so that rope attack is massive 
Yeah, he's alone in an entire dives entire into an entire group. He's just being murdered right away. I do notice that um, you can benefit from someone else's heals, as it seems, but I'm not sure. It does seem like that. The circle is big enough to heal multiple groups. That makes a real new tactic available. Oh, where are you going? Okay, I'm moving you to the Temple of the Mother. A spearman. And what? Ah, uh, I don't think I will find any fights. That's high defense. Oh, hello. I want you to be here, actually. Okay, Game of Bucks is coming closer. So I'm going to have my first fight in a second. Yeah, Carol is going. I'm going in as well. And I'm, I'm fighting for the first time. My rage bar is filling. I'm not really fast, I must say. I'm barely taking damage from him. He has a Grey Miranda. I'm still at 97%. He's at 13% health. Okay, we're a full uh, skill attack now at the Tower of the Warrior. Yeah, it does look like um, it's going to be more and more important to run gold commanders rather than the grey. The skills are just far too weak otherwise. I mean, at a push, you could probably run purple, but um, an unattractive gold seems to be better than a good purple in some cases. Oh, somebody just lured me entirely through. Uh, falling back. We need more help. Uh, more is coming. Strong guys are coming. I'm being exploded by something. This is interesting. Okay, stand your ground here, guys. Pincer attack. Oh, they're taking massive damage here. Okay, I'm pulling back to fight at the flank where all my enemy and my friends are. We're being totally overrun here. Pulling them back. Question is, am I healing in any way? Okay, I'm pulling them back to my own outpost. My troops are wounded. Oh, I have one guy here who's just using all his troops at once. Oh, he's falling back. Ooh. Okay, we took Temple of the Mother, it seems. Yeah, the old bait and switch, trying to draw them back in. It's kind of annoying. I click on the second troop, but it doesn't really... Um, if I have another troop selected, I'm really in trouble. Uh, let's see, sorry. Let's pull back these troops. I'm really focused right now, sorry. Now the question is, how do I heal? Uh, I presume it's sort of like... Um... Yeah, you just click on the military healing tent. Same as in Attack of the Dead or something along those lines. Then you return your armies back to your castle and send out a new formation. So you can change the formations um, depending on what the enemy seems to be running. I'm pulling them back for now and then I will refresh them. Um... The second troop is fighting hard, but not really. Oh. The 
that's better. Oh, Mysteria is here. She will heal me for sure. Yeah, I'm not auto healing at all. I'm going to try to fall back in the zone and see if I heal there. And other than that, I will else maybe send them back entirely and send fresh troops afterwards. Um, well, you, your seg is looking a bit damaged. It's already at half health, so it's something you may want to refresh. But you can always send that back while keeping the other two out on the map. Yeah. I'm sending my one fresh troop um, entirely back to the base. Okay, let's see. He's indeed not healing whatsoever, so I'm going to send him... That will take a while to, uh, to have him back. Oh, Mysteria has a... Uh, no, I thought maybe because it was my wife, it has a red circle, but then somebody else had a red circle as well. Oh, well. Yeah, if you lay enough b b force on them, they will eventually die entirely. So they will have a hard time refreshing troops. Sorry, I'm really not really focused on the chat. Apologies for that. Well, there hasn't really been much. Um, Yeha was saying that 10 against 4. Uh, we've got 79 against us, 34. We didn't have a good turnout today. Um, might have been a new event or middle of the week. So it's 2 to 1. We're definitely feeling the pinch. Um, even with slightly superior people individually. Like from what I can see, the average points on the enemies is looking to... Their, their army size is about 300,000. 350,000, same as mine. Um, but we had a couple of our bigger players be caught out and just Zerg swarmed. Zerg rushed. Oh, Donnerbart's here. I know, he's a whale. I'm gonna pull my troops a little bit back. Oh. Good damage. I'm chasing someone. <laughs> you got ten castles. <laughs> Yeah, has got all ten cast or ten castles right now, um, which I think at this point is just showing off. That's true. Uh, what comes next, I suppose, is you need to um, protect the transports uh, back to your own base. Otherwise, if they get sniped, uh, well, I suppose if you're that outnumbered, the only option might be sort of a bandit run. Never mind, the resources go really quickly. M quicker than any army. Oh, I actually took... That's kind of worried why I suddenly have the Tower of the Warrior. I don't have much troops, but I'll... Send them in. Yeah, you just attack that Donnerbart guy. So somebody sniped their whole backline uh, from us. I think they're gonna like that. Some people are really there as being a total fools. I think Discord is going to be an extremely important communication tool for most uh, alliances, because um, otherwise you don't know what's going on. Because you've got to work together. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the problem is normally you have rally leaders who take the lead in doing, doing things, so you just have a few guys who pretty much rule the entire battle, and now you have uh, all individual players who can make their own stupid choices. So you really should probably divide them up into teams and be like, guys, now I need team one or two, move, you know? 
Yeah, stuff like, okay, you're now team one, you're now team two, you're now team three. Uh, like group three Winterfell, group four, or group one and two Winterfell type job. Just direction that way. The problem is my alliance isn't doing anything. They're just sitting around the castles and I have no idea if they even understand how this game is played. Somebody's trying to just break through. And he's actually smart because <laughs> it pulls an entire massive wave of uh, friendlies uh, who all storm back chasing him. Which of course gives the enemy all the opportunity to break through our remaining forces there. Brought fresh troops. Attacking now. I'm gonna send my cavalry home. Oh, I'm all the, all all alone here. Donabar trying to break through. He'll die. I think I'm like York, and I'm not surely really, really sure how it works. Why I watch you guys to learn? Well, it's it was simple enough to work it out. It's just I don't know why they're not doing it. The most important thing is you've got to make sure to split into groups, groups that can then take objectives and move about on the map. Someone has all three armies at one position, just defending, doing nothing. I'm like, dude. It's also, if your troops aren't moving, then they're not earning any points. That is a downside. I'm first going to move my troops here. Three is going home. One is going Look at how it's going there. Um, again, you're, you're roughly about even. Just in terms of point gain, the important thing is going to be the uh, the resources from Winterfell. So you've got to make sure to grab those whenever they come available. If you're going to try and push in again, you've got to probably mass all your troops just to break them. So slow. Okay, uh, one troop got annihilated from me. That is a bummer. I don't see much uh, healing. Uh, I don't have to do much healing. There's too much people defending right now. The The enemy has almost like two or three guys just defending. And we have so many people in defense. I think we are running. <laughs> I think we are having some problems because uh, we're not in our own clan's discord. About looking at it, we, we just... It, what are they doing? What, what are... Okay, so they keep on going towards Winterfell, getting annihilated, but they're going in one by one. Yeah, you you need teams, teams. Mm. Okay, I'm a bit low on cavalry. That's true. Where do I heal here, though? What? It seems like the Temple of the Mother is going to be an extremely important building because unlike, um, unlike say, Alliance Conquest, which is the event which we're basing this mostly off, um, in Alliance Conquest, all um, sort of army defeats are split in between who's sent the rally, who's there, who who's, um, who's holding the castles, who went into the rally. You know, like, all the losses are split. And in those fights as well, as with most fights in the game, you can lose in morale. So say only half your troops get killed, the rest of your troops run away. Whereas in this game, it's very, very easy to get completely zeroed, or your armies to get completely zeroed. So the mother, the healing is going to be twice, three times, four times as important and vital for just continuing to keep on the pressure. Because once the armies have been wiped for a lot of people, I'm guessing that's going to be it. That's one army dead. 
I've participated in a couple of battles. Um, not big ones. But my half my troops got wiped, and just looking, I can't afford the 44 days to heal them. I may end up building up tier 3s just to take tier 3s to this battle. I was not Because then I can at least heal them a few times. I did just a few uh, Royals Cavalry. Well, it's a pretty decent amount. And it cost me 27 days. What? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The Temple of the Mother is going to have to be something to go for. It's well, probably the highest priority on the time map. Sure, they could say resources are important and, you know, you've got to get Winterfell to win the game, but without that, that healing, you're, you're going to be in a nightmare. So ambushing people is extremely valuable. Not not defending, but actually ambushing people. Like, you take out somebody's army, that's 20, 30, 40 days of speed-ups they have to spend just to heal that one army. And not everybody can afford that. Like you can whittle down the numbers, you can make up a number advantage. Maybe there might be a tactic to basically keep everyone in... Okay, you capture your first two castles. Maybe the next two as well. And then you just group everybody up. And you attack the mother. They might stream in reinforcements. Either way, you overwhelm the defenses of the mother. Then you do the heal-ups. And then you go somewhere else. Might just be a case of keeping everybody together, just because healing is so important. So much defense at one place now. Okay, let me see how the wind thing is doing. Yeah, they got a secure line and people are just rushing in there one by one. Here comes the cavalry. Eh. Walking. Walking is all his armies here. For the horde. Wait, I'm the alliance. Walking. We fight today. <laughs> People just standing around us. What the fuck? Go help fight, you stupid fucks. You're just standing there. Language Reaper. No. I mean, I understand your frustration, but... Language. There's a, there's a small fight going on where we have a decent amount of, of defenders who are just literally standing two tiles away or marching past it while me and Warking are just fighting our asses off. Uh, well, hello again, Natalie and uh, Gwaggy. This is a new event coming out in uh, Game of Thrones Winter is Coming browser game, which there's a couple of bugs. Nobody, and I think mo most of it is frustration of people not knowing how to play. They haven't done the tutorial, and I think it's evident these pe people have never played StarCraft or Command and Conquer or something on the, along those lines. The, the thing that I do notice is I have a very hard time I'll just pull them towards you. Um, selecting a troop. I keep clicking on a troop and then I try to move them and then I keep moving the troop I previously had. Which is really annoying. <laughs> Somebody tried to flank me. I blew them straight in the trap. At this point you can... It's better to just let your troops be murdered entirely. Um, uh, then they... Well, it depends. If you can afford the he uh, the heals then yes, it probably is best to uh, let your troops get killed because then your commanders go back very quickly and you can recharge and resend. But keeping them alive may be more important. Chen B saying the army size buff didn't work for me. Did it work for you? Well, Reaper was having the same thing. It doesn't look like it worked for him. No. So the army size is purely dependent, I suppose. Glory level is now going to be even more important. Just anything that increases your base uh, army size is now going to be more valuable than ever. The enemy is strong now. Probably going to win. It does seem like an interesting event, um, and it would—it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun uh, in the future. 
However, until your alliance understands what to do, it's painful to watch. I've just had to watch uh, the players, some or some players, run armies one by one into an enemy instead of waiting, grouping oh. up, and then fighting. If I would lead like, this army, it it wasn't a it was it's not an impossible nothing like an impossible fight, um, but you have like six or seven troops currently capturing a castle, instead of you know eighteen armies gathering and then attacking them. So you have two to one odds. I've just watched them stream army after army after army just slowly so instead of fighting on two to one they're fighting one to nine and they're being annihilated oh i just ran into a fucking ambush while i was recharging one of my troops Yeah, and I suppose now it's um it's a bit tr tricky with those who have zero <laughs> zero uh, castles, because we can only fill one, two, three armies sort of max, but those who have the maximum twelve million troops who bring in nine million or three million total, uh, can possibly send out quite a few more and keep up the pressure for longer. So it's going to change the dynamics slightly. Yeah, Natalie is it's exactly that. One tiny squad versus entire army seems pretty impossible. It doesn't. The point with this event is, it doesn't matter whose squad that is. That squad could belong to Kiniston. That squad could belong to Savo. That squad could belong to like War, Benny War Bunny. I don't even know if he still plays the game. My my knowledge is a bit rusty sometimes. I think uh, Alice plays his account. Yeah, but it could belong to that squad. Could belong to any one of those. And normally, if you're on say Kingdom vs Kingdom or on the normal world map or Alliance Conquest or something, the squad would win. Here, it gets ripped to pieces. Yeah, the, the, um, the whatever my team is doing, it's it's really kill. It has absolutely no purpose. Everybody's fighting his own battle. So, but it's it's a test. Well, I, well I'm going to talk uh, with everyone and. Also, uh, looking back to the stream and set something up decently and next time <laughs> hopefully be in their Discord as well. Um, and then just make sure everything goes well. Because if we do a targeted attack, if we can send them... I think, for for example, German Jokes is much more focused. They have all the troops on the right places. And I just see streams of people not even fighting, just running through their formations right now without any purpose. And they're probably going for the, the carrier. Or they're fighting the carrier, who is full light. But they have so much hundreds of people in their trails. Yeah, they're going for the carrier. Um, I, I guess Slink has really strong will. He probably gets far. Uh, but you have so much people on you. On your... Oh, he's actually doing some serious damage here. Yeah. I'm just going to make sure all my troops are together for now. And then try to flank something useful. At least it seems you're doing a bit better than we are, um, at least in fighting. But I still see, for example, there, Karel, Tiffy, um, that we just saw them, f them fighting. They're at least two to one outnumbered. I don't know why they don't run away. You should never really stick around for another fight. Um, Yeeha, uh, you can deliver the resources. Uh, resources are periodically generated by Winterfell. Uh, I believe one of your armies can either go in, pick them up, and then you need to transport them back to your outpost. Um, so they'll then have the flag, as it were. So you've got to make sure to hold Winterfell. You gather the resources by sending an army inside it to pick them up, and then bring them back to your camp. Whoa, we have no chance here. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to do some flanking actions and what is going on here? Come on! There's like three, four armies doing nothing and a fifth army is coming to get someone out of her camp. I would never tolerate that. I 
I like how you see the travel times. Hmm. Well, it does give you a little bit uh, more information to be able to plan with. Um, like if you double click on area, you can say, okay, I can be there in two minutes if you're in Discord. And they can say either go for it or we need someone closer. The funny thing is if I am um, teaming them all up, they seem to stick together much better than if I send them separately. Okay, we have a strong force heading towards the enemy now. And they're all waiting here. And well, now you got to play Ride of the Valkyries, yeah? Yeah, we'll just... I'm not sure what that means, but... It's um, a classical piece by Wagner. Um, you know, da 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 oh, da, da, da Yeah, traditionally to follow sort of like a massive wave. We, we don't maybe have... I suppose if everybody goes cavalry, just, yeah. Don't have the biggest troops, but... Yeah, I did have a lot of more infantry and spearmen, so I should have just attacked with that based on the, the fact that I have more of those troops, so I don't have to replenish them directly. And we're taking on their outpost, sure. Let's do this. I feel like I like that idea. I snuck around. I have two armies left. I snuck them all the way around the map. Took me about five minutes, but I'm now sniping one of their castles. I'm going to be killed. <laughs> But I wonder, will I just be able to uh, take this before they all kill me? I've got 15, no, 16, 17, 22 armies currently converging in on me. <laughs> oh dear. The, but good. it brings a lot of distraction, which means somewhere else, if they all pull that back, somewhere else you can break through easily. Yeah, I was going to 7, 6, 5, I'm going to capture the city. The entire trip I went, I am going to capture this city. I did it. <laughs> I'm getting the hell out of Dodge. Okay, let's refresh, guys. I need more troops here. I can't believe that worked. I cannot believe that worked. What's interesting is when the army is being targeted, you can see the direction they're coming from in sort of lines. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to make sure to basically hide or run away in the opposite direction for where those lines are coming from. So you can try and duke it round. It's a lot harder when you have slow and quick armies. They are still hunting me down. Like, I've run oh, the hell out of Dodge. Shit, I'm alone. But here. they are still hunting me down. Talk about running the hell out of Dodge. That's what they were doing. They were pissed. Yeah, I'm, I would assign yeah. at least... 10 strong cavalry uh, teams who will continuously try to take their outposts, making sure that only one or two armies attack the outpost, but forcing the enemy to send three or four or even more to defend that outpost, which would cause all the other objectives to be much lower in number. Time to go back home because I see they need me there. Oh, hello. There seems to be like uh, certain routes that everybody takes, but so everybody's walking on the same routes. It just makes uh, the, the pathfinding is really <laughs> weird. Yeah, because it seems like you can do individual. Um, if you right-click individually, quite close to where you are, you can you don't really have a problem. Uh, you can move completely freely. But if you try and cross the entire map, um, it seems like there are certain routes or rally points, I suppose, that armies go across. And if you can work out these, you can find out where armies are likely to travel. Um, for example, if they go from the home base and they right-click on Winterfell, okay, they're going to go left, then up, then right, and then up again. So you can figure out these nexus points and probably lay ambushes there if you can. And yeah, we did recently reach 4K subs, which is absolutely mind-boggling to be honest yeah reaper i see you're chasing down someone there with your full force yeah he was going for our force i was going back anyway and i was like okay sure bye bye okay i'm gonna send you guys home and i'll see you in a minute take care and well i'm gonna send no First select, I'm just gonna send these home as well. Just my trusted spearman forever, eternally powerful. 
Okay, Adelhertz, what the fuck? You have one more mission before you go home. Oh, fuck. Um, want, oh, sorry, pardon for my language, but just something you can do, um, which the enemies found out now. Where your castles are is not a protective zone. Protected zone in any way, shape, or form. Um, so after you deal a lot of damage to the enemies, you can sort of camp their cities to kill any reinforcements that come out. Oh, Poprox is here. <laughs> She's been playing... Uh... Among us, like every time. Sorry, Pop, I'm really far out. Oh, that means I have no troops in the in the front line whatsoever. Um, I okay, I'll fine. I'll just replenish everything and then I'll come back. Ooh, this is so yeah there needs to be so much more organization this is this is the first event that requires real high level of leadership and i think we're going to see this uh or at least possibly see it in the future just the um i'm not sure how i feel about the fact that you can just camp the spawn like this um so when people are sending out new armies they can and will be uh, annihilated but it does mean that you could have, say, a, str a force, as you said before, of ten strong cavalry roaming about the battlefield, picking off armies as they come in, and that will re that will really, really hurt. So about hundred thousand will cost me seventeen days to heal, which I don't have, of course. Yeah, the heal times are extremely, extremely this is, this is not heavy good. in this. This is not good. This is ridiculous. I can't afford this at all. Oh, hello. Looks like you made it. Uh, it's, it's not specifically a problem, but it does just means you have to be much more careful which troops you bring and which troops you waste. Uh, because it basically means you can't heal. Uh, you can heal just a small portion, a half an army maybe, with what you get, and that's all. Yeah, which means it may be even more important to have, uh, say, healers, um, a formation with Sansa running that, even if it's just at the back to keep your troops alive. Yeah. I'm actually going to get a formation with Sansa right now. Um, or wait just a minute. Sansa, are you here, my dear? Or you want me to buy this? Oh, no. Because, well, Sansa's um, ability heals your troops' wounded soldiers. Uh, in the next seven seconds, grants your troops an effective increase of defense. That's not bad. But the main thing is it heals your troops. So it seems like unless your army gets routed, it can be healed up. Now, I wonder if there's a way to proc Sansa's ability not in combat. Because if there is, you may have to have sort of, um, I don't know, forward healing tents or something? I was checking, by the way... Um... You can't. You can hire Sansa, but you can't put two Sansas in the same team. No, you can't put two uh, Sansas in the same team. But if you have two armies, one with each, and they both proc, you do get the bonus on both, because it is healing in a zone. Okay, this does do nothing. So I bring these commanders. Mm, eh? I select commanders to do nothing. Right, does anybody in chat have any more questions uh, that we can hopefully cover? Because I think we've had a quick, we've had a good look so far about what's uh, what's going on. Sick. Okay, I can make another full spearman with actually no spearman commanders. <laughs> However, it uh, does have Sag, Sansa, and Miranda. Well, so, uh, Miranda is spearman, the commander, of course, but it's purple. And Sag gives total attack, so it doesn't really matter. That would work, of course. So then I have two spearman troops. Um, yeah, I'm a bit low on troops. I have some infantry left. So bring the infantry commanders. 
could potentially bring some cavalry, so sure. Oh, I suddenly have a massive army of infantry left. Never mind. Uh, just sent. Uh, okay, Andrea, you're up. You're up there. Okay, let's uh, rendezvous all troops to one point and then we shall do one more attack. Okay, uh, well, Nathalie, I can uh, go over the explanation again about what's happening. Um, uh, we are both losing in our individual uh, alliances. We're we're both losing. A Reaper's not losing as badly as I am, but this is the new event for Game of Thrones Winter is Coming that introduces sort of um, some real-time strategy elements to what is otherwise a very static game. Um, so before in the base game, you sort of create your formation, you send it to attack someone, and either you win or you lose. And it's also been very heavily dominated by those uh, players who can afford to spend a bit more. Whereas in this new game mode, it depends on how active your people are and also there's a lot more strategy and quick thinking in it yep i have now i'm gonna try something to run a triple formation well one formation has a sansa and what i'm gonna try is to see if sansa is capable of healing all the three formations if they're together because if i can heal troops in any way the event becomes so much cheaper even though you do give up a little bit of extra spearman attack or whatever by not sending a spearman commander in a spearman formation yeah it may be worth for example in the big um battles just focusing on having like half the armies in there having sansa in some way or form just the advantage it represents is extremely potent to be able to heal because even I've, I've got a very weak army but i'm looking at over 100 days just to heal the troops i currently have wounded yeah. i don't even think the whales will be able to afford sort of the healing uh, capabilities that you need i got 800 which was about 22 days um which i got from the event I don't know what else the event can, uh, let's check the shop, uh, they can only buy healings, okay, so they just bought the healing, so you have about 23 days of healing. However, if you have 100k wounded, you already have that amount of healing cost. So it is absolutely vital that you bring a Sansa. What I'm going to try now is a triple attack, They're all, they all have about the same troops, so they all equally fast. I'm going to murder um, an easy target, hopefully. It looks like there's some loose skirmishes at this outpost and i'm gonna try to um see if santa is capable because it's a massive circle of he to heal everyone in that area because if that's the truth then you want to hire the extra santa you want to put two santas in your formations or at least one santa if you were all both binding together and then santa becomes almost more important just to manage the cost even though when you can bring three million troops you do have the backup troops to actually keep making half these informations. Yeah, if you bring 3 million, the odds are you're going to be running 400,000 odd soz army size. So you're going to have a total of 8 armies that you can easily replenish without counting wounds and things. Um, for zero cost castles, you're going to be running 3 full armies with a little bit of extra. So you are going to be limited. Um, Yeha is saying it costs uh, 300,000 tier 3, costs 6 days to heal, which is a lot, but that's not completely out there. No, that's that's manageable. Okay, it looks like we have a lot of fun going on here. Because every time I see someone heal, I do see a very high number of heal uh, things in, in big groups. So it feels like they're actually healing every group in there. But I, I just can't be sure. Look, I see so many heals coming up. So there must all be individual troops that are being healed. And secretly, I'm watching my second troop. There's someone alive still there. My second troop had 363k troops left and has no healer. So I'm actually trying to pinpoint that troop. If that troop receives a heal in any way, it is absolutely worth it to bring a healer in at least your troops, especially when you run multiple formations in one attack okay there's a lot going on there it's going to be a massive attack somebody's yeah. bravely going to try to flank this entire army that's going to be really interesting 
this is an interesting event. There's going to be an awful lot of work going into figuring out exactly what commanders are best, because um, they do have a very, very profound impact just on the different uh, troops you can possibly have. Uh, Annie is also a commander that heals, so potentially if you're running something like Sansa and Annie itself, um, you could heal, have or double heals in the arm. Okay, we have some kind of standoff here. And uh, marking is going, so we go going as well. Ooh, there's many coming. Uh, <laughs> for the horde. Uh, sorry. Uh, once again, you are blue right now, Reaper, which means you need to go for the alliance. If you're trying to fight for the horde, that sort of explains why you're losing. How? But how? 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 Are they not? Are you blue as well? Yes, I am blue as well. So I'm wondering, is the, is the allied always blue or not? Um, possible, but uh, you're Greyjoy, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm Greyjoy as well. So it's possible that Greyjoys are always blue, but no, it doesn't make sense the alliance would always be blue. They're sort of forcing you to play for the alliance, aren't they? That would be very nasty. Because we murdered someone, fall back, fall back, fall back. We flank them or we die. Not vicious. And he's dead. Good. Pick up another one. There's an awful lot of stuff going on, which I see, sometimes yeah. it makes it difficult to figure out what's exactly happening. But so far, we've found out that Annie and Sansa, if you're running both of those in the formation, you get maybe Sansa twice or Annie twice in there. Healing is extremely important in this game, whether it's getting the castles, whether it's getting the limits. Because I'm seeing big players on the opposing team right now running around at half health. Like they can't afford to heal their armies, so they're always a bit weak. Yeah, and I also see a lot of players um, can't manage their armies properly, so they're still. I see still a lot of people just standing still for a long time, and actually, to, oh my god, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Actually, too long, causing them to actually that I can actually murder them pretty much. Look, I'm I'm flanking them all the time, and you get pincher attacks, which means you have flank attacks, which does much more damage. So it is all going to rely on communication uh, as much as possible. It also seems to be a little bit hard to come back from in this event. If you start losing, you'll find it a lot harder to win <laughs> as it goes on. I haven't found Tauby yet, but I do often see someone targeting my troops. Yeah, it, it, as Anthony does say, yes, the event is very heavily reliant on the number of players you can get in um, because you can multiply... If you have 100 people in and each of those people run Sansa in one of their formations, you're looking at 100 heals. I have not and it been is very able... much a numbers game. I have not been able to pinpoint yet if in any way um, my older troops get healed by Sansa. I'm going to get flanked there. And this is what we expected, Anthony, um, when you're saying that numbers outweigh the individual's power. We expected this to be a sort of equalizer in between the normal players and uh, the whales, the very large spenders in the game. However, it is dependent on having a an active alliance. Without an active alliance, you might see an awful lot of reshuffling coming soon for the future events. Just a lot more people changing their alliances to get the less active people into an alt alliance, two out alliances merging, for example. We might see an awful lot more of that in the future to ensure that there's a hundred members that can come in each time. Because the advantage it represents is just massive. Take a stupid damage here. Yeah. Oh my god, they're just breaking through. I'm the last one standing of this entire team. We had a great fight though. One is down. <laughs> Shit. There's red everywhere. What happened? Where's my friends? There they are. Right now my castle is surrounded by about 15 armies, so I am not coming out. 
Mm -mm. I have closed the gates. That's it. Oh shit! I turned around. Ah. Oh. You, I think you're you're dead now. You've been captured. I'm being totally murdered. Yeah. I had a great fight. <laughs> Complete chaos. They knew where exactly where to go. <laughs> I stood a long time there, though. I stood my ground so much. It's very tricky as well. Um, I, th I suppose this will be a good one to continue streaming because it's extremely difficult to stream snipe. Like, so you know where they are. So what? It's going to take you two minutes to come across to find them if they don't keep on moving. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm out of troops. Not gonna lie. I'm starting to. Oh my! Oh no! Wait, there's a lot of troops coming back for absolutely no reason. Um, so you don't lose all troops. A uh, great portion is being replenished, even if you die. So I s now have 600k spearmen back, which I I had zero earlier, while all my troops died. So you don't lose all your troops when you die. I, uh, the only troops I have left now are some tier four um, archers I got from the tavern, and I'm not doing a lot with them, but the attack range has been interesting. Because right now, it's, it's been about two minutes, I'm slowly killing this one army to death. Because I can't attack it a lot, but I outrange him. So it's an awful lot of running, stopping, hitting, running, stopping, hitting, running, stopping, hitting. hitting. And then... And, oh, crap. Uh, I just got caught out by another army and my bowman got destroyed in half a second. Poor on you. So that happened. But yeah. One more time, we shall march. The last ten minutes. We're behind. We had more. Uh, here we had more members, but the opponent had mere tier four players. They totally won. That can be a difference uh, in terms of tier four. However, it also depends on how much you can actually kill them. Uh, for a hundred thousand uh, tier four troops, takes about twenty five days to heal. Hundred thousand tier three takes six days. So if you can pull in the full tier three million tier four and just use those and replace those, then that might work better. But 3 million tier 3 will allow you to heal your troops, which the tier 4 will not happen. Yeah. Uh, 60 players, more than half of the people showed up, which is nice. Um, on the other hand, seeing that the enemy had the same amount, and I did say some great names like Donnerbart and um, the other one, they were strong, and you definitely saw that they were a chunk stronger. They could hold uh, out much longer. However, based on the troops, that we both have the same amount of troops, um, German Jokers definitely brought a lot more tact and coordination to the field. Well, they're Germans. Like, they, they organize sleeping. Like, they can organize anything. So, just uh, Belisarius saying, I had four spears, 80% troop left. I fought a cavalry player with 20% troop left and lost 40. Like, half of my 80% spears. That may have come on just the commanders. Um, if we look at certain commander abilities, such as, um, say, Genie's ability, because you, you were attacking spear and you were attacking cavalry. It's, possibly, it's possible that cavalry formation ran, for example, Genie. And Genie has um, a fear of war ability, 75% chance to fall into fear of war, making them unable to use normal attacks or counter. That means this, there was a 75% chance that for 7 seconds your troops could not attack or deal damage at all, in the way the calculation works. So commanders can really impact it. And yeah, it could be because the commanders always give a flat bonus. Uh, for example, you can get 450 spearmen attack. 450% spearman attack on tier 4s is a lot more than on tier 3s. Well, they may not have had that commander, uh, Belisarius, but they could have had an awful lot of other commanders. It You may have been counted on the commander front, which was a problem. Or say if they had Sansa in that formation, they would have healed, so they would have got an extra 10% of their troops back or something. And now we're closing in, only six minutes left to go. And I think at this point most people know what's going on. Yeah. Definitely well played by German Jokers. Um, they just seem to have bring more people quickly into the fights when needed. I mean, you're pushing back a bit here, but you're so close to your own spawn that their supply lines are twice as long. And yet, you're still sort of being caught out sometimes. 
I'm losing health on all my troops. Oh, here comes an entire flanking attack. You can't. It makes so much difference. If you're flanking an enemy, I just see them die like like water. And if you don't, you'll be absolutely fine. Yeah, the pincer attacks, as we can see, pincer attack times eight. That is eight times damage just from a pincer attack. So if you can manage to gang up on people, it's, it's a numbers game. It is definitely a numbers game. The pincer attack is absolutely ludicrous in just how much extra damage you can get. Taking damage, but dealing damage as well. And if you get caught out of formation, it's pretty much over for you until, unless you can find some friendly somewhere. It's a breakthrough here. Yeah, you can't get pins. It's so dangerous. Oh, they're on my back. Uh, yeah, this is where all my troops die. I'll fight to the death. For this last of my kingdoms. Hold the lines, guys. Hold Your the... last stand, eh? My last stand. One down. And also now they're basically kind of annoying because I can't really see what's going on. Uh, but somebody pulls his troops out, and that's actually the troop I'm fighting, um, like they see, which means my troops automatically start targeting that troop and start walking rather than standing, and the other troops can easily kill you off. So if you're have, if you being targeted by tr three or more enemies, or whatsoever, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure you walk away. Your allies will totally murder that, and you totally make sure whoever is attacking you, the more the better. It's just chasing you without doing anything unless they manually actually make sure they target another enemy. So that's really a tactic. You yeah, so it's, it's based a lot on the just instant reaction. And as Anthony, yeah, as we said before, Anthony, this game is you definitely need Discord or some sort of other chatting platform for this. <laughs> Sansi. We shall do one more attack on Varosh. So, they got just literally annihilated in a half a second. Hold the lines. Tiffy, Jack, help me out here. And especially now, for example, he's attacking me. So, I am just walking away with this. Only this team was being attacked. And they just had to retarget. They are retargeting now. Because they know, oh, we're just walking around without doing any damage. Of course, if they're faster, they'll keep doing damage. And range troop will also do damage. And here I'm pincering him. He's targeting me again. Fall back. So yeah, playing around, playing the cat and mouse game is much more important. He's, he is three army, so he's going to kill me entirely. Okay, um, that's the event. And for what it's worth, this is the most tactical event they brought out. What I also want to add is there's absolutely no lag. There's no mistake. I do see some, but no significant bugs whatsoever. So I want to absolutely congratulate them on that because we had launches of Alliance Conquest. We have it, it is a bit strange. It's... If you think back to the original Attack of the Dead Reaper. So, that was horrible. That uh, The original Attack of the Dead was so buggy that um, after about five minutes you could not do anything because your screen would just spaz out or swap, swap, swap. And yet here, it seems to be doing quite well uh, in terms of fluidity, in terms of, um, well, it, it's okay, it's rather well implemented.
I think the only downside now is getting your alliance to actually play the game properly. There's going to be an awful lot of alliances, I think, taking this first event, taking this first um, feedback, and basically restructuring their entire entire method. Yep. Need, there's, you need a leadership that is very capable in micromanaging. You need several, well, let's call it rally leaders who have a team with them and can make strikes and force enemies out of tactical objectives and you need to move really fast you need someone who has extreme overview over the entire battle almost you almost need a scout who just the only thing he does is just scouting around what's going on okay they're coming with four men to here no four men there so you need yeah. a, a larger commander you need like a scout you need several rally commanders the law but there's no um there's no fog of war in this game you can teleport everywhere and see everything so again, it might be some use to have a small player just there who um, Whoa. Whoa. Cl keeps on clicking over. Oh, and then we have the rewards. I have so, a... oh, I got Universal Troop Medal. Me too, a grand prize. And it's one for twenty, um, one for two thousand blue diamonds, which is must buy probably. And one for twenty black diamonds, which I don't buy right now because I can't refund when I'm streaming, <laughs> and I shouldn't. By the way, shouldn't you shouldn't refund? This is not good for you. Uh, but the grand prize is what you want. If you have the grand prize, there's no uh, need to replenish. You can you can change them for any S. Um, yeah. Seems like you can trade them for any S uh, level. Oh, that's good because I have an yeah. S at blue and infantry, and. Redeem 20, that's perfect because I needed 20 to get to the 100 so I can enhance it and on the last, last level of purple. So that's absolutely perfect. So now the letters make sense as well. Wait, those letters were in there before. I'm trying to figure out where you get the, where you spend these tokens from then. Just go barracks, customization. Go to yeah, I've tried it. It said that it was available for any S ranked. Yeah, hero. If, you, yeah. If, you, if you go to S, you'll see the redeem button, or you'll see the redeem button anyway, if you have the tokens available. You know, that's the thing. I had uh, 20, I got 20 tokens from that. Yeah, I just, um, I just but did it I on can't, stream. I can't redeem. I just did it on stream. Check how I did it. The button is gone for me now. Maybe look a little bit back. I clicked really fast. Although you do gain um, the Siege of Winterfell, you also gain uh, the Valor points 900. and Valor medals. Yeah. How much? Uh, you already ha uh, that's the thing. You already have to have the skin unlocked. So for us, uh, for free-to-play players, it's... Um, oh, I suppose I do have the Gold Cloak unlocked. So I can upgrade those, but we're going to have to get these from events basically make sure we get them to gray in events and then enhance them that way i had two gold cloaks indeed as well i don't know why i have the gold cloaks i can't remember buying any of them no gold cloaks was from an event uh with a wheel with a spinning wheel so as long as you got them to gray you can upgrade them so it's a way for i suppose to get a nice bonus the, the gold cloak is a very good um commander skin and if the event comes back, I think most players should definitely prioritize getting it to grey. So they can then enhance it even more. Yeah, I'm spending everything on uh, Simon Blackmire and save the rest. Because I want Simon at the blue at least. It's too, too much of a great commander not to try everything you can to buy him for. Yeah, I mean, I haven't even got him grey yet. I think I may have earned enough points now to uh, to buy them. So, yep, I finally unlocked him grey. <laughs> there we go. Good. Taube, that was uh, in Korea, incredibly uh, nice. Uh, you, you you were a lot stronger than us. Or you were um, a lot more active than us. Your, your people were actually on the right spots all the time. And yeah, we had some decent amount of headless chickens who were just rushing either into nothing or no cooperation whatsoever. So I'm, I'm really interested how your voice chat actually went. Um, how your cooperation went there. I'm not sure I'm allowed to say it on YouTube. Um, but just the fact that it's the German jokers um, all the time hearing when I'm thinking about their voice chat is just 
extracts from certain World War II films. Organization Extreme. Well, the, it, just the way they, they teleported across the map, uh, very good Blitzkrieg there. And I imagine it was chaotic, but a well-deserved victory there for you, uh, Toby. Well, I'm playing on Expert. Only on the stage 7, I was starting to lose troops. Still winning every fight. I, I've been doing Master all the time already. I can pretty much, without refreshing my troops, do the whole thing. Oh, there I go. Okay, almost. Oh, so did you manage to find Iru? Oh, no, you couldn't get Iru. Ah. Well, in the future... Well, as I said, next next time you guys have to fight just before it all starts. Like grab all your um grab all your armies together and just meet by one of the unopened temples because nobody else will be there. Yeah, I did see a ton of arrows coming my way whenever I was making a stand uh, though. Well, you have um You have a big target on your back. You're famous, remember. Ugh. Leave me alone. The Expedition Beyond isn't the most interesting one, uh, especially after you figure it. It's I think for most people now, it's just a daily thing to get the refinement badges. It, it um, does, the yeah. bonuses, just the refinement itself, is probably the most important. So this, this is my defensive formation, and you won't believe how... I don't have to do anything to stay on the rank. I do lose some, but not definitely not all. I get attacked a lot, and they fail a lot. See? These all attack me, and I win with this formation. See that? It's a really weird formation. It works so well. They don't know how to counter it. Because if, if you kill my frontline real fast with snipes, Arya gets totally loose on you. If you don't and you want to play defensive, uh, Julian and Obin will start to get crazy damage eventually. Dark Shade, you look strong, my man. But are you strong? No, you should never do this See? on uh, on stream. You should never try this on stream. I so many people use Sonera, and she has a lot of initial bursts, so that probably works. Sek is one of the tankiest ones. Sex is... So every time I don't know what to put there, just put Sack in there and he will hold his ground. Um, yeah, you kind of want to break through Simon. Okay, this one will destroy you. Julian will destroy you indeed. So. Have you noticed recently, though, in the Expedition Beyond, they seem to have made it easier? Did they know? Yeah, as far as I know, it's just it. I went through. Um, what did I do? Uh, I tried the the expedition beyond. I tried the the last level for the first time. What is it like, champion or something like that? And I got all the way to the ninth uh, ninth combat, which seems a little strange because before I tried it before I only got to the fourth or fifth or something like that well maybe that does explain why I suddenly could easily do master well not easily I feel sometimes but usually I just make it yeah I'm still going for um what's the third rank the one in the middle ah uh, she almost got a shield off expert or something not master anyway it's just the expedition beyond now has just evolved to quick a quick load of clicks. Uh, I know that if I sort of focus in one location um, or try and actually plan out the fights, I can get a bit more. But it just doesn't seem worth it for the rewards because the reward from stage to stage, the increase just isn't that high. Sonara, I don't know what's with Sonara. She gets so much extra attack. Right, well, thank. Uh, I suppose we should thank everybody for tuning in to this uh, first look at Winterfell. Do we have anything else to cover? No. Uh, pretty much everything. I'm going to uh, try. I don't know if I'm going to make a specific guide at this point. Um, well, we might not have enough information yet, so... Yeah. I suppose what we want to do is figure out exactly what commanders are best, and then we can make a guide from there. I also want to indeed talk with a few people first, um, how they see it. I want to 
few people look back to stream see what happened and organize according to that and if we have a good organization and did a very good match where we had a full control over the situation then i would like to make a guide out of that but you know they added race boots to the and they're exploring they are uh, to the dragon exploring no i did not that's actually very nice yeah you get a lot more better stuff i think this is even a 75 and there's some more events where you get race boots from lately i am always i was always out of race boots these days i have 450 25 324 50 percent i have an assembly bugle no idea where that comes from and 26 75s i never used to have 26 uh, 75s so i'm getting them left and right from things now which is good it's it's something people need <laughs> well i suppose in the next alliance conquest you're going to be able to immediately use those 75s when you need it like just get that burst when it counts true Okay, so let's uh, wrap it up now, because it's Saturday night. We should be drinking and having fun. We could, we had. Well, fun. We're, we're in lockdown, so I can do the drinking bit. That's fine. Yeah. I don't think I have much alcohol in house. I should, but I don't need it. I had enough in my past. Just do me a favor and use those motivation because you're at 184 out of 180. So, I already used them the moment you said it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, this was the first look at the Siege of Winter event, something that we're looking forward to in the future. Hopefully, with a bit more organization, it'll be a bit more fun. Um, and until then, hope to see you soon. Oh, nice power 420. Yeah. Perfect. So I have too much uh, army power now, 120. It's too much. But I'm still bursting on my research power. I think I went from 230 to 242 in a week. And what I've been doing, and you might not believe it, and it's not the smartest idea as a, as a zero cost, you don't really need it. But I've been battling my way through the iron defense thing. I want to test a few things when I've uh, completed. Um, I do need a few more things. Of course, you have the Bowman stuff as well. That's going to be 135 extra Bowman attack. Um, I don't have Bowman yet, but uh, you have several useful stuff like siege attack reduction, etc. Other than that, I don't know yet. I will just, I'm just going to test. Um, I don't have much advanced defense yet, but it's not the most expensive. I have this one complete. I want to run some tests when I have everything complete from both, uh, from actually all the three of them, and then. Uh, see how really the wall will hold up when when you really try to get it maxed out because i want to i want to be sure this time i we can all say the wall sucks but i just want to make sure since especially since the last iron defense where i hear maybe multiple people over it it's a pretty good tree i want to make sure does the wall finally hold up a little bit against at least someone with equal power or not It is possible with the entire, uh, the sort of, um, all the bonuses, but I suppose that the biggest bonus from the Iron Defense isn't the wall itself. Um, the wall is limited, but it's the things like the siege attack reduction, the, uh, the extra bowman weapons, the extra things like that, that increased your army itself behind the wall. I suppose it does help the wall as well. Um, but it also increases your defense, maximum defensive troops and whatnot. So if you're taking a hit, it's definitely something you want to have. That's better. Sorry. Okay, I'm ending the stream now. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.